Hey guys, Pleach out here. Today I'm playing something a little bit different than what I usually play. I'm going to be playing a Yorion blank deck here. It's kind of reminiscent of my days of blue-white midrange where I played Wall of Omens, Kitchen Finks, and Restoration Angel. Now I can't afford to play Kitchen Finks here today because it's, well, it's just not good enough. So I'll have to make do with something else. Uh, in this list, I'll be playing four Wall of Omen, four Omen of the Sea, four Spreading Seas, and of course four Counterspell, with four Archmage's Charm. I'll also be playing four Teferi Time Raveler, because these are all just good cards. Um, I'll be playing three Supreme Verdict, three Restoration Angel, and four Solitude, four Prismatic Ending. So the rest of these are my flex slots. Uh, the Fire Ice has been performing well lately. Um, tapping lands on upkeep is quite good, as well as tapping attackers or dealing two damage uh, it c comes in handy quite a bit. The Brazen Borrower as a one of is just kind of like a flex removal for anything I encounter game one. And then I have some Charming Princes here. The Charming Princes used to be Memory Deluge, but I found that my curve was a little too high. And the Charming Prince is good to kind of recycle with Yorion to either dig to what I need, gain three life, or continue a Yorion loop where I'm abusing Yorion's ETB and drawing like six cards and having different effects with spreading seas and walls and restoration angels and stuff like that. I'll be playing three Colonnade, I like the blue-white of it, and then one Hull of the Storm Giants. The hull is quite good, but it's a little bit slower, so I'll just bring one with me today. Um, in the sideboard, I have, of course, three Rest in Peace for graveyard matchups, three Subtlety for things like Tron and or Amulet Titan, and I have three Dove and Vito for control, as well as a Teferi to kind of get a little bit more card advantage and, and grind in the sideboard. I have two Elspeths for like grindy creature matchups where I need to gain some life or clog up the board, uh, especially against Burn as well. And then I have Engineered Explosives here for Hammer Time and uh, those kind of matchups. Anyway, I'm going to take it through a league here today and, and see how it goes. And I will just get started. Alright, here we are in round one. Opponent says, good luck, have fun. Hey. That is very nice of them. Um, Alright, I think this is a good hand. I'm going to lead on the Steam Vents tapped. Uh, ruin, oh, or I'm against Mill, so... I think I'll untap, see what I draw, and then I might evoke Solitude here. Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to play the Steam Vent Tapped. Oh, my opponent says first league, so we shall see how this goes. Alright, well, good luck to them. Oh, Jess guy. Interesting. Ooh, prismatic ending. Huh. I do wonder if I want to hold up Counterspell for Atasha's Hideous Laughter, though. So I'll hold it off on the Prismatic Ending, just for now. Which probably will be a mistake. Yeah, looks like a mistake. So I'll shock in to hold up Counterspell. So my opponent most likely has a Drown in the Lock here. Okay, they don't. Well, that's good for me, because now I get to hold up Counterspell. Alright, and if they don't do anything, I'll use my Omen of the Sea end of turn. Uh, I 
don't care for the Wall of Omens, but I would like a land, so I'll take the Field of Ruin. And there's another Field of Ruin. Um, so I'll just pass to them for now, see what happens. Alright, so they're cycling Fractured Sanity. I think that's fine. do worry that I'll get Archive Trapped if I feel the Ruin here, but I do want to hit their Black Source. Now if they do have Trap, I at least have the Counterspell. Yeah. Had uh, drown and lock anyway. Okay, well, and visions. Oh, they used visions too early. <laughs> they see it too. Would have been very bad for me. <laughs> Island. I'll need to start clocking them, so I think I want to take Yorion. If I don't clock my opponent, then they really will just mill me out, even though I'm only half my library deep. A few Tasha's hideous laughters, and I could go all the way. Three of my solitudes are in the graveyard, and yeah, so there's one left in my library. Hmm. My opponent have Surgical Extraction on Archmage's Charm. Oh, it's Extirpate. Okay. <laughs> I guess I have no say. But they did tap off black, so that means they don't have Drown on the lock up. They could have Counterspell. And uh, that would be unfortunate. Okay, no counterspell. That's good news. And I'll bounce my omen here. So I still have all my restos in the deck, so I have more threats. Um, I think I'll take the Teferi. Tasha's Exiles, seven cards. Not bad. <laughs> oh, Fire Ice is good here, counting as four. Ah, yeah, another drown. All right, so I need to find another threat and Verdict isn't going to cut it. I'll bounce my Omen here. I am aware that I'm getting quite low in my deck. Okay, Vandillion Clique will do it. And so will Colonnade. I, sh I should have left the Colonnade on top so I could have played it. Ah, that'd be a misplay. Ruin 
crab from my opponent. That's fine. So I'll set a stop in their draw step. So that I can click them in case they find anything. Very protects my clique. Oh, visions, okay, we'll get rid of visions. That would have been bad. Prismatic ending, also bad, <laughs> but uh, not as bad as visions. So fetch land, see if I have any more fetchables. Uh, I will grab this hallowed fountain and fire up the colonnade. And I'll play my wall of omens. Opponent drew uh, an archive trap. Yeah. Okay. I have eight cards in my library, which isn't a good sign. Two counter spells in my graveyard and none in exile. So it looks like I still have two counter spells in my deck. Uh, and they drew another archive trap, so <laughs> my only chance is to draw a counter spell. And that's it. Okay. So my issue in this match was that I did not have a fast enough clock, but I also draw a lot of cards. So Elspeth might help me exiling my graveyard. And I'm thinking I should cut some number of Omen of the Sea because it's not a clock while being a Hmm. Actually, I don't need Verdict at all. Maybe I'll keep in the Omen of the Sea. Yeah, a couple of them, instead of the Verdict. And uh, hopefully this is good enough. I don't feel like I need to go up to 84 or anything, because I'm playing Yorion. Uh, I think this is a good hand. The uh, fire can deal with one of the crabs. <laughs> Hedron crab, I believe it is. So my opponent has mulligan to five. Okay, turn one visions. It's a good sign. Didn't want to fetch yet, so that's good. Oh, they didn't draw a second land. Ruin crab. Okay. Fairy's a good draw. They might have Archive Trap, but I 
I think it's a chance I'm willing to take. So I'll get my steam vents here for the extra color. Yeah, there's a trap. Just one trap, okay. Yeah, so I'll bounce the Ruin Crab. It's not very good. If they drew a land, then they can just play the Ruin Crab again. But it ties up their mana doing so. Oh no. <laughs> they really must be hunting for land. I do still need a threat. I guess Hall counts. Elspeth in my graveyard counts too, although slow. And uh, Solitude is pretty good. <laughs> so I was passing the turn. But now I'll keep mana open. Yeah, okay. And I'll just cast the solitude now. cards in my graveyard. That was a good vision. That's unfortunate. Well, if they don't have a Drown in the Lock for my Solitude here, I will attack with it and then play the Seorion. Flicker it to exile the Hedron Crab. Seems like they do. Yeah. That's bad news. Maybe I'll draw a land for Elspeth. Now the tokens that Elspeth provides are a pretty good clock. I just hope it's fast enough. It might not be. Bounce the crab, play the delta, make more tokens. fetch here and play Orion. Um, yeah. Yorion allows me to hold up a Dovin's Veto and also to reset my Planeswalkers, which does open me up to extirpate or something. Okay.
three mana. Okay, fractured sanity. I definitely want to counter counter that because fourteen cards is a huge chunk. And I believe I have lethal here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My opponent sees it too. All right. I think I'll try to run it back. It's a difficult matchup without a clock, or at least not a meaningful one in the early turns. Need to mulligan this and keep this. Put back a fetch land. Fetch lands are dangerous. You can play the try on one turn one. Okay, unless I draw a prismatic ending, in which case I'll fetch and shock. Oh, okay. That's almost as good. Kind of. Perhaps not. <laughs> so we'll pass to them, and if they fetch, then I will shoot a crab. Yeah. Opponent just has all the crabs. Okay, prismatic ending is a good draw, although I assume that they have drowned in the locks, so I'll hold up counterspell. Okay, they didn't have it. That's good. They didn't have it or they didn't think it was relevant anyway. Okay, I will cast Omen of the Sea. Bottom, but I'll put the counter spell on top. Oh, Restoration Angel is a great draw. My life total doesn't matter, so I don't mind shocking in the steam vents. So I think I do want to jam the resto here. I feel like it'll get countered, but I need to put some pressure on the board. Yeah. Solitude is a good one. I should do it now while they're tapped out. Just in case. They have another drown in the lock in hand or something. They'll be able to kill it, but at least I'll get rid of the crab.
So my opponent didn't have Archive Trap either. So hopefully it's... Well, it couldn't be all lands. I think I'll put Yorion into hand here. Holding up one counter is okay. I'll try to counter this. I think it's worth countering. Perfect. I think I'd like to play Teferi first before Yorion. Just a beta counterspell. If they counter the Teferi, then I'll allow it. Oh, that's why they weren't casting anything. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Their hand must just all be Dovin's vetoes. So fetching and they're casting crypt incursion. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So they'll gain 15 life. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to counter this. That way I can just put lethal on board. It might be wrong, but I have to try to win. Oh no, no. <laughs> they saw through my plan. Okay, in the upkeep, I'll sack my Omen of the Sea to scry a little. Um, <laughs> difficult. Uh, another threat in solitude is probably good to have. Hmm. Extirpate Archimedes Charm. Oh, they're gonna make me shuffle it away? Yeah. And I think that was a good play by my opponent. Oh, Dovin's Veto. I can work with that. That's it. All right, here we are for round two. I lost the die roll, so I'm on the draw. Uh, this is a good hand. Against Kahira would be against control, so. Yeah, I think I'll keep this. Uh, this hand does allow a Renin 6 to slip under. Song Mad Ruins. Oh, it's Belcher. Okay, so this is. This is great then. Counterspell and Dark Mage's Charm. As long as they don't turn to me. Blood Moon. 
Uh, okay. I suppose I should get my planes, although I don't really like it. Kind of turns off my Archmage's Charm. Uh, strike at Ridge. Okay, that means they're not going off this turn. I hope. Recross the paths. Yeah. Now I get to see their deck. So they do have a Pact of Negation, which they will probably put on top. Um, four Charbelchers. They have the Pyromancer of Ascension in there as well. I have two reforges. I'm not always sure how they're going to stack. It's against a deck that they think might have counterspell. They'll probably go, you know, reforge, reforge, or packed reforge. Dismiss all. I have polluted delta. I would like to put it on the bottom. And I'll play another island and pass to them. Let's reforge the soul. Um, I'm going to put it on the stack and then counter it. Which means they probably have another reforge underneath. Hmm. So I think I'm going to play to fairy and plus. And I'll play out my Triome, and if they have another Reforge on top, they can't cast it. So they didn't have another Reforge on top. Hopefully they don't have a Belcher here that they can just hard cast, although I can bounce it with Teferi, and then try to draw another Island, I guess. Strike it rich from my, their Graveyard, okay, that's good. If I draw a fetch land, I can bounce the Blood Moon. Spike Field Cave. Recross the paths again. Sure. So what card is in their hand? One, two, three. So it's not Charbelcher that's in their hand. It's not Pact of Negation. They got four Metamorphos. They have the Reforge here, still in their deck. Pyretic. Uh, so one, two. Four rituals, desperate, 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 and desperate. They have four rituals there. One, two, three. Three Iron Craig feats. So if they put another Reforge on top, it would be, well, they can't cast it until they deal with the Teferi. So I think what they'll probably do is go for the 
Paramancer Ascension line, which is something like, yeah, actually, I don't know how it works in this deck. So I revealed Fire Ice. They... Oh, I win the Clash. So they don't put it back in their hand. What card did they reveal? Reveals Summon Legend. Valakut Awakening, maybe? Yeah, Valakut Awakening. Um, no, put that on the bottom. Oh, wonderful. So they played Valakid Stone Forge, which is crazy. Fire Ice, cool. So I do wonder if it's a good idea to bounce the Blood Moon. It does kind of unlock, but I should have played the Colonnade, so maybe I'll wait a turn. Oh, forgot to activate the Teferi because I was talking about bouncing. All right. Played Shatter Skull. Goblin Charbelcher, you know, as expected. Counter that spell. Now let's just bounce the Blood Moon for fun. Should have played the Colonnade first because it would have come in untapped. Spreading Seas, and then Upkeep, tap their other green source. I feel like they probably just stacked four Belchers on top. <laughs> Omen of the Sea is a great draw. Yep, they stacked four Belchers on top. <laughs> Good thing I tapped. All right, so prismatic ending, I have one, two, three. I don't have four colors. Um, so I'll put that on the bottom, and I'll put this on top. And I'll have to use my Teferi to bounce the Charbelcher. And then hold up Archmage's Charm for the way down, which means I better put Lethal on the board this turn. So if they go to 8, I can play Charming Prince. Hmm. Yeah, to scry 2. Drawing Prismatic Ending, um, and I might as well just cast Wall of Omens here. And hope that they didn't put a Pact on top. So I do have Blood Moon, okay. So I'm pretty sure I can just Yeah, I did my math. Whew. That was a close one.
kind of needed the land off the top. I don't think I did my math very well. Uh, okay, so I'll bring in Dovin's Vetoes. They'll definitely have a Veils of Summer, which is kind of awkward. I think I can put the Wall of Omens away. Well, I guess the Verdicts are better leaving. Prismatic Ending, I can deal with Blood Moons. If I fetch strategically, I can deal with um, Char Belchers as well. Yeah, I'll give this a try. One land is not going to cut it. I think that was smart of my opponent to stack all the char belchers on top. Oh, okay, much better hand. Uh, I'll put the prismatic ending away and hope that they don't have blood moon. I mean, if they do, then I'll okay strike it rich. Yep. Yeah. If they do have blood moon, then I'll fetch an island, but that's still super awkward. Recross. That's an early recross. Uh, okay. Two cards. Um, let's see here. Recross. I got veil, veil, veil. Nature's claim. So three veils. If they have four veils, then they have one in hand. Um, they got two reforges. They have two, uh, three char, uh, four char belchers are there. Okay. Um, Paramancer's ascension. It's really difficult for me to figure out what they have in their hand because all their spells are lands, and I'm, you know, just bad at this. So they got the three of Miria's Call, four is on the field, one turn timber, two, three, four of those. Balagad recoveries, we got one, two, three. Okay, so they might have a Balagad in hand. They might only have three in the deck. Valakid Awakening, they have one, two, three, four. So all four in the deck. Two Spike Field Hazards. Two Shatter Skull Smashing. Three, okay, so, they, so the, they might have two more Spike Field Hazards in their hand. But it's really hard for me to say. Okay, so they put Amiria's Call on top. Well, I'll put the Glacial Fortress on the bottom because I plan on fetching anyways. Just gonna dismiss all the revealed cards. So if they put recross on top, then this is brilliant. They're in their draw step, so. So I want to play Teferi here, but I think it's a bit dangerous. So I think I'll just play Colonnaded Pass and hold up Counter Magic. Flashing back, strike it rich, that is fine. Play Spikefield Cave. Um, okay. 
pass. So the treasure token allows them to have Vale of Summer. I think I have to do this anyways. And if they have Pact of Negation in hand, that's incredibly good for me. Because their Charbelcher resolves, they can't activate it, but they'll try to activate it in their upkeep, so I'll play Teferi. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to let that happen. And then in their upkeep, they won't be able to pay. I even have Dovin's Veto back up. Yeah. There we go. Boom. And that's good games. Unless my opponent has Ritual Metamorphos to pay for the Pact of Negation. Okay. They do not. Alright, here in round three. Alright, so my opponent is rolling with Laris, so this could be a hard one. Although I do like my hand, so I will keep... They mulligan to five. That's a good sign. All right, they're keeping five. So I'll start on the flooded strand, and I'll do my usual fetch for a triome thing. And then I'll play the charming prince on turn two. If they're playing burn, charming prince will be great. Plains springleaf drum. Okay, so that means they're probably hammer time. They're definitely hammer time. Esper Sentinel. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna fetch now. So this verdict will be good, although I need a second white source. So I will scry here and try to find one. Colonnade and Fire Ice. Ooh. Those are both pretty good. Um, well. Put them both on top. I want to draw the Colonnade first, I think, so that I can have that, you know, turn four Wrath. But if my opponent doesn't have it, it might even just be better to go turn four Restoration Angel. So my opponent has another Esper Sentinel. A third Esper Sentinel. Okay. Excellent. I will play this Colonnade. Um, and I'll just pass. I think that... I don't want them to draw three cards off a of Supreme Verdict. So we have a hammer and a pass, which means they probably have pure steel in hand. So, I think 
that is fine. And then they move the hammer over to the Memnite. Okay, that's also fine. So I think I do want to cast fire here, um, and I can pay for two of their Esper Sentinels, so they only draw one card, um, and that way they only draw one card overall instead of like three. They do still get to equip... Oh, I should have shot the other one because the Memnite would have died. <laughs> they may not move the hammer now. It's a guard is aid. Okay, and that was their last card in hand. That's, uh... If they move the hammer, their Memnite will die. But they... Okay, so I just can prevent them drawing a card. I think that was the best way to do it. So Fire Ice is pretty good. So I'll probably put Luris in hand. Oh, they're not going to do anything. Oh, right. No creature for the Springleaf Drum. Uh, this is good. Wall of Omens. Try to make a land drop. Alright. And then end of turn, I can Resto this if they do nothing. Counter if they do. If they play a creature, put Luris in hand, it would be really funny to Vendillion clique and put it on the bottom. Yeah. So I think I'm going to do that, because it is hilarious. to hold up Archmage's Charm. Mm, yeah, I guess just Archmage's Charm. I can put Yorion in my hand. <laughs> They're sacking their clearing to draw a card, which is good. Keep the Archmage's Charm up, just in case. Mm. So I'm going to attack with Vendillion Clique, and I'll just play the Charming Prince here. I'm just going to draw a card. <laughs> Another Wall of Omens. My opponent doesn't do anything, then I can flash in Resto. Ingenious Smith. Oh, no, I don't think I care. Okay, Ornithopter, sure. best play here is. I think I go to combat first, make them make an action, and I can use the Archmage's Charm uh, if I need to, and clean up everything else with the Prismatic Ending. 
sure. Casting a hammer. So I'm going to gain control of their cigar to aid. Although maybe it would have been better to gain control of their ornithopter when they equip it with the uh, <laughs> the hammer. I guess it would have still been... I actually don't know if it would still be blocking. That's interesting. Alright, hit the smith, and we'll just throw this wall of omens. Pretty far ahead, and with an Archmage's Charm now. Um, doing very well. Oh, Ink Moth Nexus, cool. Stoneforge Mystic, sure. Concede from the game. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I get it. Alright, so for Hammer, I like Engineered Explosives. I don't really like Omen of the Sea. I don't think I have as much time. Um, I might on occasion also like Elspeth over something like a Vendillion Clique. But I think I would only bring in one. Just because Elspeth isn't like the groundbreaking haymaker. Alright, we got three prismatic endings, two Archmage's Charm, and two lands. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. The interaction is great. Just hopefully it's fast enough. <laughs> Four prismatic endings. Uh, so I don't really want them to draw a card, so I'll just pass back to them. If they... Okay, or is this Sega? Sure. I think that's bad for me. Sega will help them grind quite a bit. Genius Smith. Alright, so I will fetch here. I mean, I can fetch end of turn. Uh, I don't think it matters. I'm gonna get my Rug and Triumph, though. And we'll see what they get. Another Sentinel. Yeah. And uh, Memnite. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I actually think Wall of Omens here is better then prismatic ending on the uh, sentinel helps me stay alive longer gets me to my third land I hope they don't have a third land that'd be great uh, cigar is aid okay <laughs> well I'll block the smith so they don't have a hammer fantastic I am going to Prismatic End the Smith, and I'll pay. And then I will Shock, and I will Prismatic End the other, the uh, Sigarda's Aid. Now this stops them from untapping and equipping a hammer, and basically they're start of their main phase, they can still find a hammer or something else, which grows the smith. Okay, so they found a springleaf drum. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. So the smith can attack now through my wall of omens, but I do have more prismatic endings. Uh, cranial plating, that's not good. <laughs> So if they equip the Ornithopter, one, two, three, four, it's a four, two, okay. I 
wonder if there's merit to just take eight here and go to six. No, I don't think that makes sense. Prismatic ending and prismatic ending with cranial plating. All right, back in business. Another Urza Saga is irritating. Uh, Esper Sentinel. And swinging for one, okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, that's very scary for me. Oh, this is great. I mean, they can... Oh, they're f 6 oh, I think they quickly on the f 6 So they'll probably tap it with the Springleaf Drum. Apostle's Blessing. Oh, okay. Yep, serves me right. <laughs> so I need to find something to deal with the sagas. Um, <laughs> I guess that counts. Okay, and then I should gain control of this construct now, so they can't tap it in response. It is times like these where I wish I had a dress down, but maybe if I top deck an engineered explosives, it'll be good enough. Uh, Shadow Spear is awkward. Another Esper Sentinel. I'll do this now. <laughs> Weird. Uh, so now I have two two twos, which, you know, help me get through <laughs> the shadow spear creatures, and hopefully I can top deck a verdict. this construct token will end the game pretty quick if I'm not careful. Okay, um... I actually feel like engineered explosives on one is better. And I don't want them to untap with mana, so <laughs> that was a great draw, that engineered explosives. Okay, they have a planes. <sighs> it's still close.
flooded strand. One, two, three, four, five. I can fetch and attack with colonnade and hold up counterspell. Or I can put Yorion in my hand. I think I'm just going to put Yorion in my hand. Safer. So if they attack with the Construct token, basically my two Construct tokens will trade for the one. Uh, Colossus Hammer would make it a 4-4. I think that's fine, because now I still trade for the one. All right. Uh, Restoration Angel is also a good one. One, two, three, four, five. I can play Yorion, hold up Counterspell, so I think I will. I'm worried they might have something like a Dispatch. Just creatures I own and control. Oh, and I own, <laughs> so I can't even, <laughs> can't even choose to bounce the Constructs. A genius Smith. Um, I think that's okay. It's a little scary, but I think it's okay. Oh, and they didn't find anything. That's fantastic. The fairy is a great draw. Because I just get to bounce their construct token. And I can attack with my Yorion, pretend I don't have anything. Another Ingenious Smith. I think that's fine. I'm not sure what artifacts they... Yeah, Ornithopter. Okay, it'll make their Ingenious Smith bigger. It'll block my Yorions for an extra turn. If they swing a Smith at Teferi... Okay. I think I'm going to hold up the Restoration Angel. Grow the Smiths. Um, I think that's fine. Yeah, because they can't attack because of my uh, colonnade. Catch your triumph. I do think it's time to cast the Solitude, though. That's a good game. That was a uh, that was a pretty stressful one, but we locked it up there in the end, which is great. All right, so we are back here for round four. Um, against a Gigantha deck, which means it could be Belcher. Uh, in which case, this is not a good hand. Um, but it is playable, so I'll, I'll keep it and see how it goes. Uh, if my opponent goes turn one, strike it rich, then I do have potential to just prismatic ending it. Oh, <laughs> all right, it's drawn. Uh, that's even worse. Oh, spreading seas, that's a great draw. So I'm actually gonna lead off here and I'm going to prismatic ending their sphere this means that they can't get green mana on turn two. Oh, okay. Ooh, they don't have another land. That 
that's fantastic. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ice them in their upkeep. If they find another land, I'll start deploying the spreading seas. I don't think they'll want to crack the chromatic sphere here. Yeah. Oh, and a counter spell. That's a good draw as well. Alright. I'm just going to play the Rogger and Triumph, and then I'm going to do it again. I assume my opponent is done with me. They don't play a land. Oh, another power plant. Oh, that sucks. Right, so they have the ancient stirrings, so they'll be able to find another power plant. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I'll probably just shock in, hold up mana here, and get ready to restoration angel into turn. Expedition map. I think that's fine. They need to play their. Okay, they play a forest, so they have a power plant in hand. Alright, perfect. They're going to crack the map here. Found Urza's mine. I think that is fine. If they don't do anything noteworthy on this turn. Okay, expedition map. Yeah. Mine, sure. Cast a relic. Yeah, I don't care about relic. I'm going to cast another Restoration Angel end of turn. Uh, this increases it to a three turn clock, which is a substantial clock. Charming Prince, that's a good one. But I'm just going to spreading seas of their minds that they have to use the expedition map to find another mine if they want Tron. I was hoping for another land so that I could hold up an Archmage's Charm, but a Counterspell will do. Cracking Expedition map here, getting a tower. Okay. Another map. So I think I'm going to. If they have Karn the Great Creator here, it's. I think that's fine. I think I have to counter this map so that they don't go and get Tron. Sylvan Scrying. Okay. So they're going to get it anyways. If I could draw another Spreading Seas off the top, that would be great. Uh, another land is good too. So, I think I just will pass the turn and hold up Triple Archmage's Charm. I 
It's not an easy decision, though. If they have Ulamog, then they just get to exile both of my Restoration Angels. Karn. Um, so I know one of the cards in their hand is Urza's Power Plant. So I think Karn is fine. Because Karn directly doesn't win the game. I think they need to get... I'm not even sure what they would get here. But them getting something, uh, Oblivion Stone. One, two, three, five mana. Oh, Karn liberated. Okay, so I just get to counter this. And that's, uh, that's game. So against Tron, I'm likely to bring in the Dovin's Vetoes. And the Subtleties in exchange for a couple prismatic endings. My Supreme Verdicts can go. And I'm, I don't want to cut a Solitude because they can kind of be handy in a pinch. So I think I'll cut a Omen of the Sea. Okay, so this hand does have a Field of Ruin, which normally would be a little slow on the draw, except I do have the Ice, so I can kind of tempo my opponent out on turn two. And my opponent is mulliganing till four here as well, which is fantastic for me. Power Plant, Chromatic Star. Okay. Hmm. So I have a Steam Vents in my deck, so I can Shock again. I think I should Prismatic Ending this, so they don't get to draw a card. My Hallowed Fountain. don't know if they would play anything on turn two that would be scary, but I don't want them top decking a Sylvan Scrying, so hmm. Actually, maybe it's better to just play my Wall of Omens now. Draw a card. I will get my Steam Vents because I might want to cast Fire at some point. Oh boy. So then, oh, and a subtlety. All right, so I'm just gonna play the Polluted Delta and I'm going to use ice in their upkeep because they probably have a car in the Great Creator. And I don't care about their colorless source, so I'll just tap a forest. Oh, and a Vendillion clique is a good one too. Oh, they did have a Sylvan Scrying, sure. I got a tower. Get my 
Saga and Triumph. Um, now I'll play a Field of Ruin, and if they don't cast anything and they don't have Tron, then I will use the Field of Ruin on the tower. Okay. Or I could deploy a threat. They put Gigantha in hand. Makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to deploy a threat here. I get to draw a card, so it does replace itself. And I'll fill the room in their tower now. And then in their draw step, I think I will Vendillion click them. I can still hold up the subtlety by pitching Yorion if I need to, although I don't think I'll need to. Uh, okay, so they have Karn Liberated, Thrag Tusk, Olive Dust, Olive Dust, Chugantha, and Ulamog. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take anything because they don't have the lands to cast them. So, perfect. And I might as well use Spreading Seas here. I expect to cast the subtlety, if anything. Yeah, okay. So they're gonna slam the Thrag Tusk, probably. Oh, the Gigantha. Do I even care? I don't think so. I have flyers. And they make a lot of mana, but they can't use it for generic Greek costs. And now I have Counterspell as well, so... I think that's really good. Thrag Tusk, yeah, I'll just use the counter spell. Uh, actually, I'll use the subtlety here. You never know. All right, that's it. All right, here we are for round five. So far, this deck has felt very strong. Uh, we are up against a Luris deck and one land on the play. I dislike mulling to five, uh, but this is a better hand, so I will keep this. I'll be putting back a Spreading Seas into Teferi. At least here I can fetch a Triome. Alright, up against Hammer Time it looks like. Esper Sentinel. Yeah, Esper Sentinel is an awkward one. Makes me not want to cast my uh, Omen or my Spreading Seas, as I don't want them to draw cards. Hmm. might need to, if I need to find more lands. OK, 
Okay, Ink Moth Nexus. Uh, and they cast a Thoughtseize. So I think I just have to try to find lands here. Means they just get to draw a card, which really hurts. All right, bottom and top. And they'll probably take spreading seas. I can't cast a fairy on these lands, so. Yeah. Spreading seas down. Paradise Mantle. Interesting. Okay, another Omen of the Sea. Um, it might be better just for me to dig deeper and this time pay. Try to find more lands. Bottom and top. And pass to my opponent. That is an awkward land because it's a tap land. Um, hopefully not my undoing, but I will find out. Pure Steel Paladin, yeah. And there's a hammer. Even a verdict off the top doesn't save me here. I will play it out just to see what happens. All right, it's so prismatic ending on the Colossus Hammer. <laughs> and then I would go to one if I survive. I can't pay anyways. So I think I will Field of Ruin the Ink Moth. And that leaves Verdict to be an out. And Stoneforge Mystic. That is it. Okay, so in this matchup, I definitely want Engineered Explosives, and I think one Elspeth, and I believe I cut a couple Omen of the Seas and a Vendillion Click, but it might be better just to cut both Vendillion Cliques and bring in both uh, Elspeths here on the play. Alright, game two. Revealing Yorion. On the play. Uh, three lands, Prismatic Ending, Counterspell, Teferi. Uh, this looks like a good hand. I am going to lead on the Colonnade though, as the Ketrick Triumph will not cast the Prismatic Ending. Turn one Esper Sentinel. Memnite. Memnite. Uh, okay. So this is a curious position to be in. I feel like I should end the Esper Sentinel. So I think here I will grab an island. that I can pay. Now this will be awkward because I do want a double white in case I draw verdict. I 
think I'm going to get Thoughtseize here. Yeah, Thoughtseize. I think they take Counterspell. I can't cast anything on this hand otherwise. They take Archmage's Charm. They don't want me stealing their permanence. Uh, that does make sense. And Pithing Needle, probably on Teferi. Okay. Time Reveler. Okay. So I drew a Solitude. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll just pass to them with Counterspell up and see what they do. Cigar's Aid. Yeah, well, they probably have another Cigar's Aid. That's why they're running this out. Yeah, second Cigar's Aid. Okay, well, no cards in hand. That's, uh, that's promising. Unfortunately, I did not draw a land. So I will just put Yorion in my hand uh, and pass to them, and I have Solitude up if they try anything funny. Esper Sentinel, okay. So three damage a turn is pretty substantial. Oh, good. I found the island. And this means that I can pitch to Fairy with Solitude and then flash in Restoration Angel. Ink Moth Nexus, okay. <laughs> yeah, no attacks make sense. Um, I'm going to do it anyways. And then fire is a great draw. I will just start swinging with uh, Restoration Angel and then hold up Resto or Fire. That way, if they top deck an equipment or anything, I can shoot what they're going to equip. Another Ink Moth, okay. Uh, then I think it is safe to cast fire here. <laughs> Another Teferi. Alright, and now I have Resto Flash uh, on Solitude. Alright, animate Nick Moth, sure. That's fine, no blocks. <laughs> okay. So I'll allow them to target it, and then I'll flash in Resto here. And now I have Xaxes. On the draw, I think Elspeth is good, but it's still a little slow, so I will bring back in the Vandillion clique uh, just as a flash flying blocker. Yeah, it could come in handy. Um, plus, when they put Loris in hand, it's always funny to make them put Loris on the bottom of their library. Alright, game three on the draw against Hammer Time. Uh, this is a pretty good hand, in my opinion. Um, they did keep seven, which is a little scary, but 
you know, my hand's good, so I can't complain. I do worry that my hand will be a little bit too slow on the draw, because on occasion, hammer time can turn to and I might even see it here today S percent though, okay play my colonnade and pass Thoughtsies, sure. So I'll probably take my brazen borrower here, because that's my interaction. But I also wonder if they kept a hand with no white mana besides the springlink drum. which case this wall of omens will be good um, as it'll be awkward for them to equip a uh, hammer they'd have to play you know if they don't have another land they'd have to uh, play Sigarda's aid and then a hammer next turn oh they took the wall yeah okay so they saw it too and they do have that white source oh there's animating ink moth okay I like it. Solitude is a great draw. Um, because I drew Solitude, I'm going to play my Triome tapped here. The more lands that they have in hand, the less spells, if I'm, you know, being optimistic. Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Can't do anything about that. Pure Steel Paladin. Yeah. They have the one card in hand. <laughs> it would be quite funny. If I were to flash in Vandillion Clique. Um... take their hammer, but I think it's probably better to wait until they cast the hammer. So I'll just pass for now. And if they cast the hammer, then I will evoke solitude their pure steel paladin. If they just go to combat, then I get to cast Vandillion Clique and force them to activate the Stone Forge to put in the hammer to draw a card. I don't imagine that they would just go to combat though. Okay. So I think 
now I do take the risk. I will solitude the paladin in response. Put an equipment onto the battlefield, that's fine. And they didn't. That must mean they have another paladin in hand. Hmm. Cigar is aid. Yes. Um. So this is a little awkward. I think I should Vendillion click them here. It, you know, if I get them to put away their uh, their hammer. <laughs> Maybe they won't draw in another equipment. <laughs> I would have liked to just use Brazen Borrower to bounce their cigar to aid in response to like a hammer. Oh, they drew another equipment, didn't they? Unless they're okay with trading. Well, oh wow, they're just okay with trading. They have one card in hand, and I don't know what it is. I think they're planning on cat, uh, putting Luris in their hand. Um, I'm just going to Spreading Seas the Ink Moth Nexus now. Try to find a fourth land, which I desperately need. I don't want to cast the Archmage's Charm to draw two. All right, well. My opponent will probably take the Brazen Borrower here. Okay, they took the Charm. Yeah, I mean, either was fine. Luris into hand. Um, I feel like Fire Ice is a good draw. <laughs> I just hope it plays well. I really want to cast Ice to draw a card, but I'm going to need to use the fire to deal with Valeris. But I sus suspect my opponent will... Okay, well, we'll see what they do. Yes. Casting F Spray Sentinel. Okay, I will kill the Lairs. Lairs is just too much value. Huh. 
<sighs> okay, a land. I mean, it's something. So, cranial plating. Um, that's awkward because they can move it around. Okay, we'll give them a free equip. Probably on the Sentinel. Maybe the Ornithopter. They know I have the Borrower. Yeah, on the Sentinel. Okay, so what I will do is I will just bounce the Sentinel in response, and hopefully they don't have another equipment in hand. Yep, pay for it. Cool. And the spring leaf drum. And I don't know if they have, they have seen the verdict. So they do know I have Supreme Verdict in hand. they, you know, forgot and they play out their Esper Sentinel now. Yeah, okay. So hopefully I can fetch. I'll take seven here. Go to eight. Get my Triome. Hopefully I draw an untapped land so that I can pay for the Sentinel. I guess they can just re-equip to the Sentinel. So they always draw a card. Yeah, that's probably what they'll do. Yeah, not a, not a bad play. <laughs> well, I wish I could. The Archmage's Charm could come in handy. Alright, so they're sacking to draw. Another Esper Sentinel. And equip. Another Springleaf Drum. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if it's safer to cast Iorion here, or to let them draw a card and then steal their Sentinel. <laughs> Iorion, I lose to Hammer and Shadow Spear, or I guess Artifact and like a Path to Exile. Hmm. But it does draw me an extra card with a big body that can trade for this. So I think I will try it. And then I will cross my fingers. Alright, another land that's not horrible. Like a hammer is pretty bad um, until I gain control of it and they can't like re-equip the hammer. Yeah, I will block. Okay, no hammer. That's uh, that's really good for me. Versus Saga, that's quite bad for me. <laughs> All right, 
so here I think I will put my other Yorion in hand and then hold up Archmage's Charm. Okay, so my opponent is drawing a card. Um, I'm hoping they don't draw a creature here because then they'll be forced to activate there's a Sega end of turn. And then again on their turn, they'll probably get a hammer, equip the hammer, equip the plating, and I can gain control of it. But I will flash in Brazen Borrower here because it's on board. I can just start swinging. Does the fairy change anything? Uh, it does, actually. The fairy's a good draw. To fairy lets me bounce a cigar's aid. which means they don't get to automatically equip the hammer. And I drew a colonnade. Okay, that's pretty useless. Yep, making a construct. Please don't make another construct. That would be fantastic. My opponent is just thinking, probably doing math. I, uh, I can't say I blame them. It's a tough scenario. Okay. Yeah, so they're going to go ahead and make a construct. Perfect. So they have two mana. If they have a land in hand, then they probably go get Shadow Spear. Um, and then they can equip the Shadow Spear to the construct. They could also get a Pithing Needle for Teferi. And if they have a pure steel paladin and a ginger brute, oh boy. <laughs> I didn't expect ginger brute, that's for sure. So equipping the ginger brute, sure. Oh god, how do I survive this? <laughs> Say okay, let them go to combat. Perfect. Uh, takes them off two mana for re-equipping, so I <laughs> gain control of uh, 
Ginger Brute, and then this becomes a 6-6. Six, six. And they also can't sack the Ginger Brute. Ginger Brute. Like an engineered explosives off the top would be a great draw. That or like a solitude. <laughs> yeah, can't do anything about that. Okay. Um. So the Ginger Brute can actually block and gain life. So I'm going to attack for three, and I'm going to play the Yorion. And I'll bounce my Spreading Seas, my Brazen Borrower, just in case, and Teferi. Um, and if I draw Archmage's Charm, I want to cast it, so... All of Omens, okay. <laughs> if they have Shadow Spear, I feel like I have lost. <laughs> but this has been a pretty cool game. Okay, as per Sentinel, I can beat that. So I know they have a cigar to Zade in hand, but they haven't used it. Alright, so both of these are attacking me. I have to jump. Okay. And I will gain three life. Pure Steel Paladin. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That's Guard's Aid that I knew about. If they had another hammer, they should have cast it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so here I will bounce one of the Construct Tokens. Oh, Hellspeth makes things interesting. Um, I don't think I can pay for the mana. I will... No. Uh, I'm going to pay Wall of Omens first. Maybe I shouldn't have tapped that. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, if I shock, I have seven. So I guess they will draw a card. Um, and I have one blocker, so I need to make more tokens. And then I can swing in. If they have Shadow Spear, I've lost. But I had lost this game if they had Shadow Spear before, so. 
Nothing I can really do. Now, it's possible that I should have gained control of the construct. If they don't kill me this turn, I do have lethal on my Brazen Borrower and Colonnade. Okay, equipping Pure Steel Paladin, sure. Path to exile here. Okay. Yeah, I will search. Uh, I'll find a planes. Do they have another path? They have a pithing needle. Oh, they're going to name Colonnade. If they name Colin Elspeth, oh, naming Elspeth, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, but they do need another creature. They don't have any mana open, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's it. Wow. <sighs> All right. That was uh, <laughs> that was a league with blue white Yorion, and uh, my first five zero with the deck. That was uh, that was really good. I didn't expect it to go so well. Um, some things I really loved about the deck: the fire ice have been fantastic in different scenarios. They just tapping creatures, tapping lands, killing two creatures, killing one creature. You know, just a little bit of reach as well. It's great. Um, I loved the Spreading Seas, and I love the Wall of Omens very much. The Charming Princes, I don't know about yet, but in theory they're good, being able to do three different things. Um, Vendillion Click, uh, I don't like too many of them, but a couple of them are good, and then the Brazen Borrower is always just, you know, an one answer all. In the sideboard, the rest in pieces didn't really come in this league, I don't think. They might have, it's been a while. Um, and then the Elspeths, they were very good. The Teferi didn't come in at all. In theory, it was for like a grindier matchup, but it probably should just be another Elspeth because the matchups where we want Elspeth, we really want Elspeth. The subtleties were great as well. And against Tron and Amulet Titan, feel like they would be very important uh yeah i kind of want another engineered explosives as well i'm not sure <laughs> this is this is tough um so yeah i i officially love this deck um the ketria triome was a little bit awkward in a lot of scenarios i do wonder if it should just be a breeding pool um Except I do want that red mana for fire more than the green for the four color prismatic ending, so yeah, not really sure. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and hope you enjoyed.